Hi everyone, this is Cam speaking and I'm running Tech Journal, which is covering global tech startup and sustainability stories. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Startup Denmark, which is Denmark's official uh, startup program. Before starting the video, I will have a request from you. I'll be happy if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, now let's get back to the video. And uh, th this is program is for foreign entrepreneurs, uh, giving you to the opportunity to be uh, granted a Danish uh, residence permit in order to establish and run uh, an innovative uh, growth uh, company. And here are the key industries for startup Denmark. First, we have a uh, tech clean tech, life science, food, maritime, and design and innovation. So how do you apply uh, to Startup Denmark? Of course, you need a detailed business plan in the first hand, and, and your business idea must be approved by a panel of experts appointed by uh, the, the Danish uh, business authority uh, before you can uh, submit an application. Uh, the program can be used by both individuals and teams up to three people uh, who uh, using a shared business plan and want to start a, or uh, continue to run a business uh, together in Denmark through a, through or a, conduct a business through a Danish uh, branch of a free foreign self-employment business. And uh, I also need to mention about the financial terms of the application. First of all, you need uh, you need an you need to open an account at Siri. You, this is a official a Danish agency for international recruitment and integration. I mean S I R I. And after the opening of the account, you you follow the steps for your application, and you need to pay uh, three hundred and three dollars for your application. This amount is valid for 2023, and this changes annually. And uh, after you, after you, uh, uh, after the payment, uh, I also need to mention about the cost of living. The data at Siri reveals that you have to have twenty thousand five hundred dollars, uh, which is uh, one hundred and forty-three thousand Danish krones, in your bank account for your first year. If you bring your partner and children to Denmark, this amount goes higher, of course, and you must be able to support yourself during your stay. You are not allowed to receive benefits under the uh, terms of the Active Social Policy Act. And if you receive such benefits during your stay, your permit can be revoked and you will lose the right to stay in Denmark. And next question. How long valid is the Startup Denmark visa? You can be granted a residence and work permit for a period of up to three, two years. It's possible to extend your permit up to three years at a time. And next thing we have, maybe you want to know what does Startup Denmark provide financing? The short answer is no. And uh, Startup Denmark only provides residence and work re permits for accepted uh, applicants. And uh, entrepreneurs are themselves responsible for raising all required uh, capital and must be able to sustain themselves financially. However, uh, businesses in Denmark are el eligible to apply for a range of both uh, public and pu private funding programs. I don't want to have your uh, precious time, so I will leave the link of official uh, Startup Denmark program in the comments, so you can review uh, the program yourself. Uh, this is all from Tech Journal. I hope this video has been informative to you. If yes, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and post your comments below. Also, turn your notifications to hear about the latest videos. Thank you for your time, and see you soon with the videos. And bye for now.